So this is week 65, and problem 8 says, week week 65 quiz, and problem 8 says, a positive integer is premi if at least 80% of its positive integer divisors are not prime. And remember, 1 is not prime. How many positive integers up to and including 100 are premi? So we start by doing casework on how many primes it has, because there's a limit of 4. Because 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 is greater than 100. Oh no. Uh, so we can only have 3 primes, up to 3 primes. So we do casework and case 1. We have 0 primes. And the only thing that can fit this is just 1. And we, we classify 1 as not a prime. And so it do case two, where we have one prime. So we have to have at least five factors because we need 80% to be non-prime. So we have P1 to the fourth or greater as the, the, the factor, the prime factorization. So we can have two to the fourth or 3 to the 4th. But we can also have more factors than 5, because we can. So we have 2 to the 5 and 2 to the 6 too. And so we have case 3, where we have 2 primes. And we have 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5. Oh, no, not, wait, I'm actually excelling. Uh, we have 10 factors here instead of, instead of 5 because we have 2 primes now. And the possible things are just, because we need 10 factors, we can do P1 times P2 to the five, to the 4th, not to the 5th. P1 squared times P2 to the 3rd. And that's pretty much it. So we can have 2, 2 to the 4th times 3. We can have 2 to the 5 times 3 because we can also have more factors. 2 cubed times 3 squared. And 2 to the 4 times 5. And so all of these work. So next we have finally case 4. where you have three primes. So we have P1 times P2 times P3 to the fourth. Or we have P1, I mean, P3 to cubed because we want 15 factors now instead of instead of um, 10, because now we have three primes. So P1 times P2 squared times P... P3 squared also works. So this one, for this one, none of them work because they're all gonna exceed 100. And you can try, so you have two cubed times three times five, and this equals 120. But we want less than 100, so this doesn't work. So we have zero primes here, and we can cross this out. So the only factors we have left are, the only stuff we have left are just the ones, so are just the answers. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine different positive integers that are premi. So nine's the answer.